So the most important part to understand is how I properly save this for uh, well, uploading either to the online classroom or uh, to uh, saving it out properly for print. Um, let's do the uh, the save for the uh, for upload to uh, you know web servers for view, uh, especially the classroom first. Um, what I would do is go to File. Uh, when you get everything kind of uh, mapped out the way you want it, go to File, Save As, and then I'm going to go into this Upload folder. I like to always create a for upload folder so I know what you you know it's easy to find it. If I was to save this to the classroom, I would hit this drop down tab and I'd go to what's called uh, JPEG because it compresses into kilobytes and it's really easy. Um, you can put uh, your name uh, and when you are saving files for review and uh, for definitely for sending uh, across uh, FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol, uh, when you work in the industry. It's always wise to use uh, minuses between uh, wording or underscores, but never use uh, uh, never use capitals either. Okay, So I could go uh, my name, a first name, a uh, last name, which is good. I uh, will call this the movie poster. All right. And uh, it's going to save as a JPEG. I'm going to save this folder, hit save. Um, the next submenu comes up. Make sure under JPEG options, you're, uh, you have this meter set to the highest maximum, 12. Um, sometimes by default, it's already set at like 5 or uh, 8 quality, uh, which is high. So make sure this meter is at 12, baseline standard. That's fine. Hit OK. And uh, it will save out a JPEG image to that location. Okay. Then you can now upload that JPEG image to the uh, for submission to the classroom and you can kind of see the final outlook of your movie poster okay um, for print that's the next uh, uh, learning tool we have to learn is, is how do I save this correctly for print um, if, if you ever want to get rid of these guides but you know maintain them and uh, but you know be able to turn them off and turn them back on you can go to view by the way show and you can uh, turn off guides and they can always go back to view show and turn guides back on. So keep that in mind. So I'm just going to uh, turn them off real quick. All right. And then here, what I would do to save it out for print, since our uh, image mode is in CMYK color, okay, keep that in mind. It's 8-bit right now. Um, and uh, we have the CMYK check. Uh, you would go to File, Save As. And in this area right here, the drop down, you would click it. And the best uh, a uh, form to save for print when you're working in the industry is going to be a PDF. Now, what's great about Photoshop is they have the capability to do Photoshop PDFs. So I'm going to select this. And this is what you want to have. And I'm going to rename, let's see, uh, my first, last name. Okay. And hit save. And this save out is going to take a little while. Um, the settings you chose in the Save Adobe PDF dialog, can overwrite current setting and save as I hit OK. Uh, in this uh, submenu here, uh, a few things to look out for. When we go to what's called compression, okay, I want to select this tab. Uh, we want to make sure that we are, uh, if we do have to uh, downsample, is go to 300. And uh, the compression settings in JPEG, I normally switch this to none. Anytime you don't have to compress anything uh, is a good thing because you have full quality across the board for print and you don't want to have to compress the JPEG. When you compress things to JPEG, that's for web. That compresses it down to 72. So I'm just going to go none on this and hit save PDF and uh, it says preserve Photoshop editing capabilities. Let me, um, let me hit uh, no uh, Photoshop editing capabilities. If I go back to general tab, you'll notice preserve this. It's uh, wise to send this over to uh, print shops with the with this option unchecked. Otherwise, you're basically giving them a PDF that they can open up in Photoshop and they can manipulate it and claim it as their own. So it's always wise to uncheck that. So keep that in mind. I, I actually did that on purpose so you could see that message. Uh, hit Save PDF. Uh, it's going to come up here. You'll see the little Save Out percentage. And again, everything I just showed you about saving PDF is what I did. When working in the industry as a graphic designer, um, no matter how many times uh, I had to send something out for print, I followed that process right there, the PDF process I just showed you in this video, and uh, it came back high quality every time, no matter what the aspect ratio is, and uh, 
yeah, it looked really nice. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the uh, save out has finished. I'm going to go ahead and go to that folder now and just take a look at it. And when it saves out, it uh, has a little PDF icon. And uh, so most commonly, all the JPEGs have a little picture icon. So keep that in mind. I'm going to open up the PDF now. We're going to take a look at it. It's going to open up again. The <laughs> it's very large because I use the uh, largest uh, poster size. But if you notice in the PDF properties here, I got the uh, the minus. But looking at just this size, I'm at 69.8 percent. See the the quality because these are uh, this typography here is uh, vector text. Uh, okay, so I'm zooming out. I'm at 33.3 percent. You can still see the quality. Um, something uh, I would like to point out too is uh, if I if I scroll through this. Uh, I misspelled my name, <laughs> my last name. So uh, go through before you submit anything and make sure all the spelling is correct. You know, sometimes us graphic designers, we we hit keys so fast we uh, overlook things. I, I got to switch the C and the H in my name and uh, all the typography that's even in, incorporated here. So I'm going to go back and fix that. Um, in Photoshop, too, it has a uh, spell check before you output anything, which is really good to know because us graphic designers, we get so involved in, in building these designs in, in the industry. And when you have like, you know, five designs going on at one time, you don't have time to spell check. And that's why people uh, on teams, especially like marketing teams, they, they have people that proof copy all day. And, and then they'll write you back and say, hey, you know, I need to fix the, the spelling of this word, uh, abbreviation. So, and you're like, oh gosh, I can't believe I missed that. So uh, it's, it's, it, th that's a big, big factor because typography, and spell check is, is crucial. So in Photoshop, you go to edit, check spelling. Uh, it will scroll through the whole document for you and say, you know, uh, you know, Crow. Yeah, that's correct. That's how you spell Russell Crow. So I'm going to hit ignore. Uh, again, see it, it found uh, uh, the spelling of my name. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to fix the spelling of my name, uh, resave out the JPEG and the PDF, and uh, this is good to go. Keep in mind that you can uh, go to my LinkedIn page at linkedin.com if you would like to uh, link up with me and uh, have me as a uh, resource and a reference in your uh, list of contacts. You can uh, send me a message at my LinkedIn and uh, that will reach out to my Yahoo email, uh, hence my uh, Gmail accounts, and uh, I can always be there to help you. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, look forward to working with you.